OK, so a little while back I played along with a romance scammer under the guise of Morty, a 13-year-old boy who couldn't believe his luck that a girl soldier was falling in love with him. Today we're going to get that same scammer back on the hook. Well, actually on another hook. So here we go, falling in love again. So as much as anything, this video is a bit of a tutorial about how to spark up a conversation with a scammer. This could be a scammer that you've already played with, or a brand new one. You can find lists of scammers to get in touch with at the 4190 forum. There's a link in the video description. So here's what you do. First you get yourself a sample email from a scammer. Then you set up a brand new webmail account. Send yourself an email, then compose a reply to it. This is just an easy way of getting a pre-formatted email that looks like a genuine reply. Edit the reply so it looks like a straightforward reply to the original scam email. It doesn't matter that you're replying from an account the scammer never contacted. They very seldom check. So that's what I did. I replied to the original romance scam email from Susan Williams from a new mailbox. This time I will be Merton Snurden, a middle-aged ex-con from London. Replying to the original email, which looked like this, I said, Oh, hey Susan, your email got stuck in my spam folder. Glad you like my pick. Are you looking to connect? Cheers, Merton. We've seen the scammer's email reply before, so I won't go over it in great detail. It purports to be from a female soldier in Afghanistan. It contains a couple of pictures, including this one, which I've black barred because I don't know the identity of the real person in this image. I replied, Hello Susan, loved your pics. Gorgeous set of bombs you have there if you catch my drift. I live most of my life in London, but I moved down here to Portsmouth after I spent some time away. I'm 49, single, well, divorced a long time ago. No kids, not much family. I'm a private sort of man. I've got a few good mates and we look after each other. I've no patience for busybody, do-gooder, holier-than-thou types, or weepy idiots with sappy life stories. I've had a tough life myself and I've got the scars to prove it. I know what kind of man I am and I'm proud of it. I've got a lot of respect for the forces, even though I couldn't serve myself on account of my feet. I bet you've got some stories from your service over there in Kabul, eh? Anyway, here's my photo. I'm not much to look at, I know, but I know what makes a girl happy. If you're interested in getting to know me better, let's talk. The scammer replied with exactly the same email that was sent to Morty at this stage in the conversation, blathering on ironically about morals, values and honesty. I wanted to try to divert the scammer off script, so I said, Hello Susie, you seem like a sweet girl. You remind me a lot of a girl I used to know years ago. Her name was Susie too. Hope you don't mind if I call you that. I'm not being funny, but I don't want to talk about God and church stuff. I've had a bad run with some clergy types a while back while I was doing a roof job. Later on I had a bit of a tussle with a chaplain in Wandsworth while I was inside. It was ugly, but he came off worse than me at the end of the day. The old topic of religion makes me throw a wobbly. I don't mind you believing whatever you want. I just don't want to talk on that subject, OK? Listen, Susie, I don't know if a lovely little thing like you could ever get on with an old scrote like me. You seem nice. Are you sure you want anything to do with me? Unperturbed, or perhaps not actually paying much attention to anything I wrote, the scammer replied with again the next portion of the script. Time to change the game. I replied, Susie, love, can I ask you a really personal question? Off script for the first time, the scammer said, You can go ahead and ask me the question, please. Waiting to hear from you. Hugs, Susan. I replied, Susie, I just want to know why you ghosted Morty. You dropped him without even saying a word. Broke that poor boy's heart. How could you do that? Poor kid never did anything to you except adore you. Morty Tobar is a sweet and blameless young man. Apart from his unusual obsession with hot dogs. How could you be so heartless? That's all I want to know. The scammer protested, Please, who is Morty? I don't know what you are talking about. I replied, Susie, don't pretend you don't know Morty. I'll tell him to email you one more time. You know who he is. You broke that poor boy with your promises of love. From my other mailbox I wrote, Susan, Uncle Mert said I should write you again. Do you know, Uncle Mert, what is going on? Why did you stop emailing me anyway? Poor Morty never got any response from lovely Susan, and neither did Mert. So Mert pushed for an answer and said, So, Susie, what have you got to say for yourself? Susan replied, Please let the person email me. I do not know who he is. I said, Cold, Susie, cold. You told that boy all the same things you told me and more. You told him you were going on a mission. Then you dropped him without a word. Heartless. Morty tried one more time, to no avail. And Mert tried one last time with, Gone a bit quiet, Susie. What's up? But no more would be heard from this scammer. At least for now, because as you've seen in this short video, I can always start over again with a new mailbox. So maybe next time we'll get closer to dear Susie. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you again soon. Mm -hmm.